Welcome back to another episode of Balling With, guys. We're hopping right into college football. It's right around the corner. Uh, we have a lot of players, a lot of teams playing, a lot of schools going back to school. Uh, and this is week one of college football. Tonight is starting off. I just put out a video for uh, Florida versus Utah. Uh, make sure you go check that out. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to help us uh, get more reaches out to the channel, uh, build the channel up as well. We have a lot of video coming uh, a lot of stuff to do in the sports world um so with no further ado let's hop right on into this sports bet video for college football saturday september 2nd uh the saturday that everyone's gonna be looking at the football games i want to put this video out now so it's already out and i already went and did my due diligence guys there's so many games uh i don't I have i'm gonna go to work in like another hour after shoot over there so didn't really get too much time to dissect these, uh, even look at all the 12 o'clock games. I'm sure it's more than these main five right here. Uh, even on FanDuel, you take a look at these. These are tonight's games here. This goes into Friday right here where my cursor is. And then Saturday, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's about eight 12 o'clock games. They're only showing five on here i might have to start bringing bleach report up for college football game days because i think they pull up all conferences as well versus you know the top teams as well and i think this is literally the top 25 in here um let's hop right into FanDuel then uh we bring bar we bring bleach report website up next time for college game day uh where we at okay boom so i have my parlay over here already uh you want to take a look at it plus that Plus two thousand seven hundred, um, ten dollars on this be a cool two seventy. Uh, not bad. It's a good seven legger. Uh, I'm looking at this Colorado and TCU. I think Colorado, um, uh, getting play with. They are a, a, still a good team, uh, and then they're gonna prove that they are competing with the big dogs if they do a close game. I do have them plus here. I don't think they will lose by twenty one. I think the offense of them and Deion Sanders are better than uh what everyone would think it's just the defense and how they handle that pressure with the tcu um in college game day you know uh so but Deion sanders not you know they're not not used to it they're gonna put points up on the board as well this might be a high scoring game i will bet over 62 but also they don't have the alternates as well i will bet alternate on this game plus 23 and a half uh i don't think they would lose by 24 uh, just to be on a safer end to get a little bit more extra points on your ticket. Um, this is just a few days. This is Thursday, August 31st. I'm for, 31st, I'm making this picks for Saturday evening. I mean, Saturday afternoon. So some of those alternate spreads are not there. They usually come right before Saturday, and that's what I like. But I can't make a bet or video on Saturday when it's already Saturday, and then people are not really going to watch it. So i got to put these videos out beforehand and knock them out. Uh, I do think Western Kentucky will beat South Florida. South Florida only won one, last, one game last season. Western Kentucky was second team in their conference. Um, we can take a look real quick. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Western Kentucky right here. They went 8-5 and five, um, and, you know, had a pretty decent home and away record. Um, not just that, though, guys. Western Kentucky is a pretty good team. Uh, South Florida, let's see what they pans out for them this season. But I do think Western Kentucky can win this game money line straight it. Uh, going down, Boise, Boise State versus Washington. Uh, Boise State had a, a pretty good regime last season. Um, I was just looking at them earlier. Uh, Washington, though, right here, uh, finished 10 and 2. They were the top 10 team, I believe, or was a top rated team last season as well. They are top 10 right now. Boise State is where you at, Boise. Definitely overlooked them. Uh, but they had a decent record, though. Uh, right here, they were top in the division, Mountain West, 9-4. and uh, So I don't think they're going to get swept or lose by 14. I think it's going to be a close game with Washington. And I would even go to bet Boise State plus 17, plus 20, just to make your, your uh, odds a little bit better as well, guys. I do have North Texas plus uh, in this game. I would take them to win as well. Um, that brings it to plus 44. Um North Texas had a pretty good record. California, not so good. North Texas will come out to play. They are home. California had a city away record as well. So uh, North Texas should come out uh, blazing guns. Uh, and I would just be a team I would look for to money line 
for underdogs as well. Uh, Army, uh, I got them winning this game versus Louisiana Monroe. Uh, the odds are not too crazy. You see all these games, how they minus 30, minus 40, minus 50 for the good team playing the uh, smaller schools. But uh, I do think Army will pull away with this uh, W. That's not too high of an odd to put on a ticket to me. Uh, and then we got Wyoming plus 14 versus Texas Tech. I do think Wyoming is pretty good. Um, they play better than they, uh, you know, are represented as the school name versus Texas Tech. So I do think they are plus 14, and I looked at these schedules as well um, for them. And then I do have Tulane Saturday night uh, versus Alabama. South Alabama, Tulane uh, had a great season last year. They're going to finish off strong. This is their first time probably even starting top 25. Um, they beat, I believe, USC or Utah last year. and um, there's, It was just a crazy game. Uh, but I do have them winning right here. This should be an automatic minus 255 money line. South Alabama is not, not going to be ready. Tulane is really serious. They have a great team around them. They're building as well. Uh, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. That ends to week one college football best bets of the week. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. We got a lot more videos to post. Uh, we got NFL videos dropping. We got high, high school highlights dropping. Um, and then this is the parlay again, guys. Make sure you double check. Right, like I said, Colorado plus 24. Boise State plus 17. But these other teams, money lines, and maybe Wyoming plus 17, 20. And, you know, uh, North Texas to win, honestly. Uh, those would be a good check point. Uh, but, guys, do your due diligence, do your research. Uh, follow us on Ballin' With Instagram, Ballin' With uh, NFTs on Twitter, Ballin' With Ballin W podcast on Twitter as well. Um, guys, catch you on the next episode, and I'm signing out. Deuces.